Hello everyone, SAT exam module number one. Question number one, what is the 10% of 470? A percentage of a number, just write the percentage 10 over 100, multiplied by 470, this is the answer. But by 10, cancel 10 and cancel another 10, the answer is 47. Question number four, the function g is defined by g of x equal x square, x square plus nine, this is a g. For which value of x, g of x is equal to 25? This is the g of x. I want to equate it with 25 and solve it. So x squared by subtracting 9 from each side. x squared is 16, so x equal positive or negative 4. I have 4, you can take it. Question number 2. For x plus 6 equals 18. For x plus 6 is equal to 18. Uh, which equation has the same uh, solution? as a given equation, so minus six, minus six, start by solving for x now is equal to 12. I have now for x as well, that's it. quite easy. Question five, each face of a fair 14-sided die is labeled uh, with a number from one to 14, so I have number one, two, three, until 14. Okay, and with different number appearing on each face, if the die is rolled one time, what is the probability of rolling a two? A two here occurring one time. I have only one two. So probability of two or three or four of any number from one to 14 is simply one over 14. Okay, because this is a fair die. Fair means the probability of each face is the same probability of that any other face. Um, question three, the total cost in dollar to rent a sub, uh, sub board consists of $25 service fee, so $25 plus $10 per uh, hour rental fee. A person rent a, a, a surface board for T hours, okay, and intended to spend the maximum $75. So this amount is maximum 75 means the 75 is bigger than this amount or this amount smaller than 75. Okay, this is an inequality represented the situation. So 25 plus 20 less than or equals 75. Question six, a printer produces posters at a concentrate of 42 post posters per minute. At what rate in uh, posters per hour does the printer produce uh, the posters. This is the rate 42 posters posters per minute. I want to calculate in hour. So just multiply 42 times 60 because I want the, 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 the amount to produce of posters in one hour per hour. So just multiply 0, 6, and 2, 12. Okay, it's 42. Yeah, 6 and 2, 12. And 6 and 4, 24. Uh, 24 plus 1, 25. This is the answer. Okay, thank you so much. Uh, question number seven, the function f is defined by the equation f of x equals seven x plus two. What is the value of x when it is quite easy? I want to find f of four. So seven times four plus two is equal to 30. Okay, y equals negative three x and four x plus y is 15. The solution of the given system of equation is x and y. What is the value of x? And I ask you about value of x, you can remove y by substituting the value of y from the first equation into the second equation. So uh, writing the second equation for x plus, now don't write y. Don't write y, you write it's a value from the first equation, okay? This is a substitution. So for x plus negative three, x is one x, one x is 15, so x is 15, thank you. So. Teacher is creating an assignment worth 70 points. Okay, 70 points. Um, the assignment will consist of a question worth one uh, point and question worth three points. Um, which equation represents this situation where x represents the number of one point? So I have one x plus, um, and y represents the number uh, of three points question, so three y. That's it. So one x plus three y is a simple, simple, very simple. Question number 11. This is scatter diagram or um, just a relation between two variables, X and Y. Uh, as you see here, the dots are going from here as a decreasing function. So uh, the equation of the line of best fit, it will be negative slope. So negative slope, this one wrong, this one wrong. 
Okay, could, the answer now uh, A or B because it, the slope is negative, negative 1.9. But the y intercept here is negative value. The y intercept is positive value. This y intercept that represents the initial amount of y when x is zero. This must be never be a negative value. It's maybe positive value. Must be positive value. So the answer is B. Never this one. This equation is in negative uh, slope like this, starting with this and going down, and starting with negative 10.1 and line going down like this because the slope is negative. Question nine, right triangle LMN and PQR are similar where are L and M corresponding to P and Q respectively. Angle M has a measure of 53. What is a measure of angle Q? You really uh, look at this one. Angle Q now corresponding to angle M. Yes, angle M has a measure of 53. This angle is 53 degrees. You know, for similar things, the corresponding angles is the same. So Q must be the same, 53, without drawing any triangle. Something like that. So when you write two triangles and they said uh, similar, uh, similar, it means that the first angle corresponding to the first angle and second corresponding to the second and the third is corresponding to the third. Okay, question number 12. This is a cubic or uh, function. The graph y equal f x is shown where the function is defined by this form, cubic function, as I said. Uh, and a and b and c are constant. For how many values of x does f of x equal zero? Any function equal zero at the point of intersection with x axis. Okay, so I have three points of intersection, so I have three solutions for this equation. Uh, z squared plus 10 z minus 24 is equal to zero. What is, what is one of the solution of the given equation? Just factor, solve it by factorization. Z squared z times z, the 24, I can factor it as two times 12 because the difference is 10. So I'll make it plus 12 and minus two. So by solving this one, you have z is equal to two. There's a solution. The other solution, z equals negative 12 by making each factor equal to zero. Question number uh, 15. Bacteria are growing in a liquid uh, growth medium where um, there were 300,000 cells per milliliter during an initial observation. The number of cells per minute per milliliter uh, double every three hours, okay? How many cells per milliliter will there be uh, 15 hours after the initial observation. First of all, you have to divide 15 hours by three, the period. I have now five periods. The number of, the number of, this is um, uh, um, like geometric um, sequence, the initial amount is 300,000 and then it doubled to be 600,000 uh, uh, the next three hours and then doubled again to be uh, uh, 1,200,000 uh, and so on. I want the A number first. So the initial amount here, or the rule that gives you the, the number of bacteria after uh, after like five periods, five periods of time, is uh, the initial amount, 300,000, times the common ratio to power five. So 300,000 divided by two power five, what's the two power five? Two power five, 32. Just multiply this, so you have zero, three zeros, uh, five zeros, sorry, three times two, six, and three times three, nine. So it's 9,600,000, this is answer. This is the number of bacteria after uh, 15 hours, okay? Or after five periods of uh, increasing. Question 13, Vivian bought a party, hats, and uh, um, cupcakes for $71. Each cupcake of a party had uh, cost um, three dollars, and each cupcake, uh, each package, sorry, each package of a party hat cost three dollars, and each cupcake cost one dollar. If you then bought ten uh, package of party hat, so ten package of party hat times the number of the hat is three, plus the number of cupcake x times the price of one cupcake is one dollar times one. This cost uh, of the two uh, amounts here. Uh, $71. Uh, the question now, find X. How many uh, cupcakes? This is the number of cupcakes. So X is equal to 71 minus 30 gives you 41. This is the cupcake.
Last question here in this video in number 16, which expression is equivalent to this one? Um, as you see here, just we try to factor by taking out the Haskell factor. The Haskell factor is six. X to the power eight and X squared, just write X squared, Y squared, and Y squared, just to take it outside. Now divide each term by this highest common factor. So you have X to the power, um, X to power eight divided, six divided by six is one, no need to write. So X to the power eight divided by X squared is X to the power six, and Y squared over Y squared is one, plus 12 divided by six is two, and X, Y squared divided itself is one. So this is the answer. Take the X squared, Y squared, and do X power six plus two, number C. Okay, with your, uh, uh, the next uh, part of this video, thank you so much for watching, goodbye.